Hello everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Sandeep Patel from DocHub. I am going to speak about digital health, the career opportunity and the skills required for next 10 minutes. <clears throat> I will try to explain what the digital health and what it includes and what all are different career roles, professional roles can be seen, common skills required among the healthcare professionals if anyone want to pursue in a digital health you know. So uh, what is he digital health? If I can uh, explain in a simple word that when any individual or a professional use a technology to manage health, that is digital health. We are already using the smart wearable devices, there are technologies for point of care, internet of medical things, right? There are e-ICU or you can say tele ICUs, there are e-radiologies, everything comes under the digital health overall. Now there are sub divisions in digital health. One is digital medicine, which means a remote patient monitoring things, whatever we do, which, is, which it comes under digital medicine. Also, there are diagnostic support we do remotely. It, is, it comes under the digital medicine domain. Second is digital therapeutics. Anything software based treatment option, it comes under digital therapeutics. And then telemedicine, of course, we all know Nowadays, in, in a COVID era, we have done the teleconsultation with the doctors. It comes under telemedicine. But there is another term which we should know, which is a telehealth also. Telehealth includes medical as well as non-medical things. So you can say telehealth includes telemedicine as well as non-medical things like um, there are telehealth nurse who guide patients for many non-medical things but it is important for the healthcare like uh, guiding for the medicine, guiding for the which test to do uh, about any healthcare related queries, simple queries which been addressed by a paramedic or a nurse health. Another thing is healthcare IT. So there is difference between digital health and healthcare IT. Healthcare IT is everywhere like <coughs> every digital health initiative that we have seen they need a software programming and this software developed by healthcare IT. So healthcare IT if simply as a layman person I want to understand it's a pipelines for the healthcare industry whenever we use a software we are using software in pharmaceutical company there are pharmacy stores there are clinics hospitals or any healthcare organization, whenever we use software, that is healthcare IT field. Now, uh, there are few career roles, professional roles I have defined here. Uh, medical data annotator, there is digital pathologist, telehealth nurse, telehealth coordinator, telehealth, sorry, telemedicine physician assistant, medical data analyst, health informatics specialist. Uh, in Western country, in US, UK, Canada, there are many uh, universities, they offer masters in health informatics. So in India, it is not yet been seen that prevalently, but now we'll be seeing in next five, 10 years, the universities will run such programs. And there are also medical informatics specialists. And there is two another terms which is very much important for any healthcare professionals. They want to build a career in digital health. One is a pro product manager and second is a project manager. So any healthcare IT, any digital health company we see, there is two important professional role which is a product manager and project manager who are not from the IT or tech background, but majority, the preference is they are from the healthcare 
background who understand technology and who can connect the tech team and the end users and stakeholders and what to build what not to build they guide the entire team and they run the show so at last if i can def i want to define that what skill i need to understand and to work in a health, digital health so i have defined there are four common skills any healthcare professionals must develop if they want to pursue a digital health career opportunities uh, in future one is digital product thinking so as our previous session we have seen that uh, the question was uh, doctors are not uh, in you know uh, adopting not pro proactive adopting the technologies and all it is because their mindset is not in terms of they need to develop this digital thinking mindset digital product thinking in terms of so there is a product understanding has to be developed in any healthcare professional if we want to make them work in this digital health era second is listening listening of course it is very much important for the medical practice i like to share a few seconds to uh, explain one case story recently happened with me a few months back i got a call from one of my known uh, person and he asked me that i have consulted up two uh, urologist already for my urine related problem and when i whenever i feel a urine symptom when i go to a uh, go to a washroom and go for the urine i couldn't be able to urinate and then i i i i asked him few question what exactly any previous medicine and you have uh, gone through and all he said i i have uh, already taking antidepressant and particular part so i i connect that part with the functional urology because we have worked in some specialty related fellowships and all and i come across that uh, functional urology terminology and i asked him that you first go to a particular urologist i refer to one my one of my friend and i asked him can you please evaluate this guy because i am not a clinical practice but i think there is something going on related to a functional uh, not related to a urology but something else he is getting a medicine of antidepressant or related medicine but might be some correlation and it got solved but uh, the matter the the point i am here to connect is it is not always because if we are treating a patient with telemedicine telehealth a listening part and problem solving attitude is must if we see this case story it is just a simple thing that he need to discontinue particular antidepressant medicine and switch to an another medicine right that was the solution he need to go for it but at least someone has to identify someone who is sitting maybe remotely he is sitting but he need to connect with the patient he need to put his foot into this patient's <coughs> shoes and fourth part is human touch because as we have already seen the google era patients now we will be seeing the digital health era patients where patients having too much of data too much of adopting uh, technology using technology but the missing part will be a human touch so every healthcare professional or a medical professional if they have this human touch i'm sure they will make a difference Uh, into the practice thank you